Uh, not easy when you play in the English Premier League. We used to play midfield against Roy Keane, Patrick Vieira. Probably the toughest game that I had was when I was playing right back for Leicester against Manchester United. We were 4-0 down and uh, Lee Sharp was playing left wing. He was England international at the time. Thought happy days that he's getting taken off only to be replaced by Ryan Giggs. Uh, obviously, apart from our home stadium, um, Leeds United, Ellen Road is some place to play, but obviously to manage it as well. Very difficult question. Millwall was never an easy place to go because of the uh, rivalry. Um, in terms of hostile. Um, yeah, in England there weren't too many places like that, but probably Millwall was a tough place. Probably somebody like Max Gradle, who was signed for Leeds United from Leicester City, a bit of an unknown. Um, went on, I think he's still playing in Turkey now, played for Ivy Cross. So Max was a good player. West Hulham played a lot for Ireland and in the Premier League. So I've been quite lucky with a lot of players that I've signed that have gone on to have really good careers. Um, Thierry Henry was obviously well up there, but Alan Shearer as well, he was an all-round centre-forward for me. Obviously, present company excluded. Um, you've got to say, bloody all to be fair. Um, I think he can only be classed as the really, really top, top, top coach of all time if he wins the Champions League. Uh, obviously, my heart will tell it to be England. Um, conditions might be against England. Uh, maybe Brazil, possibly France, maybe. Uh, the people has been been very good. The weather's been good. There hasn't been too any snow or anything like that recently. So uh, every, the whole experience so far has been brilliant. So it's hard to work to uh, pencil one thing in. I think the whole experience has been great. U2 is my all-time favourite band growing up as a teenager. I'm very fortunate that I've had um, I've had friends with a lot of musicians in England, so I get to watch the, the Kasabian, the Kaiser Chiefs, Paul Heaton, I've watched the Killers a lot. My one ambition is to be a rock star, which I will never fulfil because I can't sing or can't play an instrument, but I do love my music. I like going to festivals when I'm back in the UK and it's something that I'm missing um, while I'm in India. Uh, Larry. Larry Grayson was a person who was on the TV, a uh, presenter of uh, TV shows, and it was just something that I got when I walked through the door at 22 at Leicester on my first morning. John Gregory gave it to me, and uh, it's been, been stuck with me ever since. Some of the places in India, to be fair, which I'm looking to try and do over the next few months as well, I think. I want to go to the Taj Mahal, which is obviously an iconic um, uh, place around the world. So, plenty of places in India. I was fortunate I went to the Maldives just before I came here on holiday. Um, there'll be lots of places that I want to do a tour around and see. But uh, yeah, places in here will be uh, a good starting point. Mint chocolate. Just because it's mint, I like minty things. See, that's not right, that's not fair, that, that I will be signalled out by the rest of the group. Um, I can tell you a few that I wouldn't want to be stuck on an island with, but I'm not going to, you cannot ask me that question whatsoever. The only one I would say would probably be Sunil because he, he, he'd get everything free on the island because of the icon of, uh, of Indian football. So being with Sunil, you're guaranteed to get a lot of good things and he might bring Virat Kohli with him and he'd be a good guest to have alongside us as well.